Welcome back everybody. This is Logan with Northern Arizona Wind and Sun. Uh, we're going to address another question from one of our viewers today regarding solar panel maintenance. One of the great things about solar panels is there is almost no maintenance at all. Short of cleaning the panels on occasion and depending where you're located you may need to clear snow off every once in a while make sure those things are still producing. I'll kind of address these as two different processes before we get too into it. Of course, the method in which you use to mount your solar panels is gonna be a pretty big factor in um, how accessible the panels are gonna be for the periodic cleaning and snow clearance. Uh, we did a, an earlier video where we kind of touched on the, the different types of mounts and pros and cons one way or another. So uh, check that one out um, maybe before this one to uh, get a little more insight on the different mount options. Uh, anyways, regarding cleaning the panels, question comes up all the time for us. Do I have to clean them? When do I have to clean them? What do I use to clean them? How often? Short and simple answer is there's not really any kind of a set schedule on cleaning your panels. So there's no real set schedule for cleaning the panels. A lot of times you can just walk outside, visually inspect them if you see they're soiled and dirty. Uh, that, that is usually a good time to clean them off. One thing to think about when it comes to rain is the more tilted your panels are, uh, that helps water droplets kind of just slide right off of the glass. Sometimes when you have flat mounted panels, maybe on the roof of an RV, for example, there's not so much of a tilt angle. Uh, after a rainstorm, when you think that's going to come and clean all the dust and dirt off the panels, you can actually be left with some pooling and water spots up top there. So not necessarily always the case every time we get rain. That means the panel's clean. So you do still want to check every once in a while. I don't really find it too useful to be super obsessive with the cleaning of the panels. If you wanted to be, that's not going to hurt anything. Uh, but another thing to look out for is just watch your system performance. If you notice that all of the sudden uh, we're not producing as much power during the day, maybe our batteries are a little bit low, um, those could be indications that uh, the panels are not being as productive as they should, which means maybe they are slightly dirty. Uh, just in general, cleaning the panels will help them produce more power. Um, when it comes to what to use to actually clean the panels, again, not really anything specific. What I will say is you do not want anything that's going to leave any kind of a film or a residue on those panels. The way that the glass on the front of the solar panels is designed very specifically, and if you put another layer of material between that glass and the sun, that can have potentially negative effects on your system's production. So nothing like Rain-X or probably not even Windex. We don't want any kind of a film or residue on the panels. A lot of times just water and maybe a little bit of mild dish soap is all you need. The other important part of that when it comes to the tool that you decide to use, just make sure it's something that's non-abrasive, something that's soft, that's not going to scratch the glass on the panels. Really the only other time I'd say you have to do maintenance on your solar panels, maybe in the winter. Obviously this is going to be very location specific, so if you don't get snow in winter, this doesn't really apply to you. For those of us that do get snow in the winter, like us here in Flagstaff, you do need to occasionally clear the snow off of your panels if it does start to pile up. Um, again, a, a, a steeper tilt angle, especially if you have one that can be adjusted in winter, is gonna help those panels shed the snow on contact. Normally, the surface temperature of the, of the glass on the panel itself is a little higher than the ambient temperature. So that combined with the steep tilt angle, sometimes we have the snowflakes almost melting on contact. Another thing that can be done uh, because the surface of the panel itself does get a little warmer than ambient once we start producing electricity, is if your panels get buried in snow, you don't necessarily have to go and clean off every speck of white off of every single panel in your system. 
maybe you can just give it kind of a quick brush off and if we expose at least some of the glass on the panel, get the electrons flowing, um, that will naturally kind of cause the surface of the glass to be a little warmer and then it's a bit of a domino effect from there, helps get all the, the rest of the snow remaining to kind of slide off uh, after that. So I'd say, um, you know, Cleaning the snow off the panel is pretty self-explanatory. You get a big blizzard, the panels are buried. If you want them to work, you've got to get the snow off. Now, one really important thing on this topic that I'll address really quick is um, long-term winter storage. Every once in a while, uh, this comes up where somebody's leaving their cabin for the winter, for example. Um, they want to keep their solar charging system live to maintain the batteries while they're gone but maybe they forgot to turn off a light or they didn't shut their inverter down. So what can happen, what you wanna be really careful of is if you are doing long-term winter storage and, the, and there's any loads that we need to power, even if it's just an inverter and standby, if your panels get covered in snow and there's not somebody there to clear them, that can essentially almost disable your solar charging and then if there's a parasitic or some ghost load in the background we don't know about, if the condition persists for long enough, you will severely discharge your batteries and potentially damage them. So that's related to snow and, and, and solar panels and clearing it off. That's kind of the worst case scenario that uh, I would say most people, especially the off-gridders out there, uh, are trying to avoid. So. Um, Solar panel maintenance, really nothing to it. Cleaning, snow clearance, um, any other questions we're happy to answer, just give us a call. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and comment.